Today we continue reading in the New Testament book of 1 Timothy chapter 3. Today we'll be reading verses 8 through 16. Today is Friday. It is Friday, February the 16th, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. As I said, we are continuing in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 8 through 16. Here's the word of the Lord. In the same way, deacons are to be worthy of respect, sincere, not indulging in much wine, and not pursuing dishonest gain. They must keep hold of the deep truths of the faith with a clear conscience. They must first be tested, and then if there is nothing against them, let them serve as deacons. In the same way, the women are to be worthy of respect, not malicious talkers, but temperate and trustworthy in everything. A deacon must be faithful to his wife and must manage his children and his household well. Those who have served well gain an excellent standing and great assurance in their faith in Christ Jesus. Although I hope to come to you soon, I am writing you these instructions so that If I am delayed, you will know how people ought to conduct themselves in God's household, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of the truth. Beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. He appeared in the flesh, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, was believed on the world, and has taken up in glory." And that is the word of the Lord. Our article today is titled Front Row Seats by David Cantarella. Here's what David has to say for us today on this Friday. More often than not, we tend to serve in the church in response to a need. Something needs to be done. No one is there to do it. And gently nudged by God and possibly by ministry leaders, we step in to help. As time goes by, we realize that this ministry we are carrying out really presents us with a front row seat, a front row seat on the work of the Spirit in our life. By observing God in the community of faith and beyond its walls, we realize how ministry satisfies the deep longing of our own soul and how it transforms our hearts to seek God more deeply. As we learn little by little to lay down our lives and give ourselves to others, we become more like the Master. A front row seat on the work of the Spirit in other people's lives. We get to see how faith is formed and life is transformed. We witness the Spirit bring new life into what seemed to be dead. As we serve, Christ is formed in us and in others. We get front row seats to observe faith and assurance in Christ being made perfect and fruitful. The hymn today is Ready by A.C. Palmer. Ready to go, ready to stay, ready my place to fill, ready for service, lowly or great, ready to do His will. And from the 48th Psalm, verse 10. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. This is your daily devotion for Friday, February the 16th. Have a blessed day.